Hey y'all, welcome back to Salty Lots Adventures, your front row seat to diving, adventures, everything under the sea. I don't even remember my slogan. Welcome back to Salty Lots, your front row seat to extreme underwater diving adventure, spare fishing, and all things under the sea. All right guys, we are here at Oakland Park Boulevard, also known as Turtle Reef. We're about to go on a shore dive. Join me, take a look at what we use, I'm going in the water, hoping to get some lobster, some uh, schoolmaster snapper, hopefully some hogfish, but you know, I won't say it out loud because I don't want to jinx it. It's a pretty flat day. The wind is just starting to pick up, so there's a little bit of rippling now, but I'm going to show you how it is that we go about diving from the sea. I'm here with my brother, Joel. We're going to get it started. Stick with me. I'm using the uh, GoPro 10 right here. I'm gonna test it out today for the first time. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick run through of how we dive from beach. I'm gonna show you what actually happens. So, I'm gonna set up my tank. Obviously, if you're gonna go scuba diving, you have to have your setup, right? Just as you would from the boat. Uh, last time we dive, it was 85 degrees. So I doubt it. that streamlining streamline your gear I have my SMB and finger reel just in case I have an emergency I can signal to the surface where I am in the water I carry that with me at all times okay here's the main guy right here. this is called a banks board this board basically holds all my items at the surface as well as a flag that signals to the boats that somebody's under and to stay away at least 300 feet and if they have to get closer they have to be running on idle you know because we don't want any accidents so Get my flags up and what I do is add I can add my gun. Strap that in and that's not going anywhere. I'm gonna add my fins. My lionfish pole and lobster snare along with my strainer. Another essential item is a snorkel, because you just never know, it's best to have the snorkel. I'm gonna 
put a splash right there. And my ring. Sweating. Put on my socks real quick. I also wear a shark band. Shark band goes on my right foot. Oh, it's hot. The last time we dove, it was 85 degrees. So I don't think I need a wetsuit. Unfortunately, I left my rash guard pants at home. Should have just worn them to come out the house, but you know. I can't remember everything all the time, right? My knife goes on the inside of my left leg because I'm right-handed. So when I reach down, I, I pull from the inside left leg. That's the way I feel most comfortable. I use some defog on my mask. So that I make sure that my mask doesn't fog up while I'm under the water. Can turn the experience a little hazy. So we try to prevent that as best we can. All right, I'm gonna attack my snorkel. It's a very important item when you're beach diving. You know because sometimes you want to um, maybe look down into the water to snorkel while you're on the way out and if you don't have your snorkel attached well there's not gonna be any way to do that okay so we are pretty much prepared so like I was saying earlier I would recommend if you're just starting out beach diving I could I would recommend wearing boots and the open back fins but the free diving fins are a lot faster and that's what I want, I want fast. I'm just gonna have to deal with the hot sand. I'll try to walk across this as fast as I can. Because you know, with boots, at least I won't have that problem. But you know, you gotta pick and choose sometimes what you're gonna do. Anyway, let's move over to Joel and see what he's got going on. All right, Joel, Joel is salty, locks down. What we got going on today, Joel? What's the plan? The plan is to get home with at least six lobsters today. This time. Highly unlikely, but <laughs> we're gonna try. But that's what we're trying yeah. for, right? Yep, that's it. Personally, I'm looking for some schoolmaster snapper. Schoolmaster. Yes, yeah. I have found that to be one of the sweetest fish I've ever eaten. Schoolmaster snapper. Okay. Schoolmaster snapper. Hogfish. That's all I'm gonna stick to right now. You know, I want to say hogfish, but you know, like you said, with the chances. Uh -huh. Chances are low, I'm but I'm answer. hopeful that I run into a big one. <laughs> uh -huh. Especially here. Well, so, yeah, yeah. The water is still here. flat. The wind is blowing a little bit, so the water is starting to ripple, and we're going to go ahead and get out there. Yep. Wish us luck. All right, guys, this is what the banks board looks like, and basically what Joel and I are going to do is grab a handle, one on each side, and take this into the water, and then everything gets easier. I'll see you down there. Bye boy. Where did these waves come from? <laughs> well, it looks promising. The water here.
A few moments later. It seems I neglected to braid my hair before getting into the water. Might as well fix that while we're still at the surface. It gets a little crazy to wear underwater. One eternity later. We typically do a 30 minute swim, but decided to go past the ledge on this dive. Keep in mind that the first reef is available in less than 10 minutes. However, since I'm spare fishing, I tend to swim out a lot further in hopes of landing bigger fish. Joel does his signature move, the upside down lobster. Look ma, no handstand. He nails it. Nothing under this one. I notice a disturbance in the sand up ahead. When a cloud of sand is floating like that, it usually means that something is feeding. It could be a parrotfish, hogfish, or even a stingray. I spot a hogfish, but it gets spooked and takes off. First item on the dinner menu, lionfish. I spot two of them under the ledge.
the lobster man takes a chance on landing a lionfish. This one isn't going down so easy. He dodges the attempt and escapes into the reef. Joel performs a swift mask removal and replacement underwater. His mask was likely fogging up. This is a skill you learn during open water certification. With our tank supply half full, we start heading back to shore. There is still opportunity to continue hunting on the way back, so it's important to keep a keen eye. Comment down below, what's your favorite beach diving location? I hope you enjoyed this trip as much as I did. If you had a good time, be sure to hit the like button. To join me on more diving adventures, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Click on the next video so the adventure doesn't end.